been a while since we've had a chance to get together virtually. I thought it would be a good time to maybe get caught up a little bit so I could let you know a little bit about what is going on in the village during this difficult time. At some point or another, we have all thrown our hands up and just asked ourselves, when is this going to end? Is it ever going to end? I can't tell you that I know for sure what is going to happen or when it's going to happen. But there is some good news, and it's because of your patience. I want to thank you for showing so much perseverance through this whole thing. Our health system has not gone over capacity, and it's because people have adhered strictly to the stay-at-home orders, have been using the masks, and I've noticed that many of you are also using your gloves. All of this has helped stem the tide. I'm happy to be able to tell you today that our Director of Health advised me just the other day that she is beginning to see a flattening of the curve in the village of Skokie. Now it's the beginning of the flattening and we're hoping that that's what it is. I would invite you to go to the village website on a daily basis. Uh, Dr. Kennard and our Director of Communications and Tennis post the daily statistics. But Dr. Kennard also is putting up a seven-day rolling average and it's that average that is being used. So take a look at that. I want to highlight the Medical Reserve Corps. These are 14 people who have been trained over a period of time to do contact tracing. These people have come in every day and as they get their assignments they go about it. This has helped us in conjunction with North Shore Medical System, Skokie Hospital, Evanston Hospital, Glenview, Highland Park. We've been able to coordinate with all of the hospitals, and as a result, we have not achieved overcapacity. Again, it's a tribute to you, it's a tribute to the Medical Corps, also, it's a tribute, I think, to our police and fire. Let's stay the course. Also, we're a generous community. The Skokie Community Fund, North Shore Hospital, as well as a couple of our service clubs, Kiwanis and Rotary, have given generously we're now close to $50,000 raised in just one month. If you're interested in giving, please let our Human Services Department know. They will be able to give you direction. Keep the signs, the messages of optimism, the encouragement coming. We're posting them on the Skokie Shines Through website on the scope the village of Skokie website keep them coming it gives everybody encouragement finally a couple things on the calendar May 10th to May 16th is police week on the 15th we will be memorializing those men and women who gave their lives in service. Some died, others gave and were uh, severely injured. On that day, just take a moment and think about their service during this COVID-19. Our fire department, public works, public health, economic development have all done yeoman's work. We're creating a task force, we're calling it our recovery task force, with business people. We're convening next week 
to begin planning for how we can begin to open according to the governor's five phased plan we're in phase two stay tuned come to the website we will be giving periodic updates on that as well and then finally this should be a time of celebration and festivity in the village unfortunately COVID-19 has interfered and commencement exercises have been canceled but on May 20th at 8.20 in the evening, we are asking the residents of the village to turn a light on, put a candle in the living room window, turn your porch light on in honor of our young people who have achieved so much and have made us so proud. Thank you for everything that you've done. We are going to get through this. Thank you very much for everything you've done, for suggestions you've given us. We're gonna make it. We're Skokians, we're strong. Thank you.